Welcome to the Match Life Vlogs YouTube channel. Always please remember to smash that like button, hit subscribe because it really does, it really does make a difference to the channel. We're here at St Mary Stadium for Southampton versus Crystal Palace. This is one of our four remaining home games we have left for this season. And the scary fact is we can win all of these and it's still not be enough. Crystal Palace have just come off the back of a 5-1 drubbing of fellow relegation rivals Leeds United last Sunday so they're going to be full of confidence I mean they're on 33 points as it stands at the moment which I think is probably going to be enough uh, to see them over the line but for us if we were to have any glimmer of hope remaining in this season and staying in the Premier League then the words must win have never been so true before Jack's just arrived. Hooray! Any thoughts on that? Now that Arebo starting with what feels like maybe his first start in the Premier League this season. Have I got that right? Uh, Who knows? I, I can't even remember the last time I've even seen the man. But you know, strikers, we don't need them. Overrated. We've gone from wanting a versatile, young, exciting striker to we need a big and physical striker to we don't need any striker. So I'm not too upset by it. I mean, we got it completely right, minus Arebo. So. You know, Aribo might even be corner in front of Golden what we've got right now. So, but to be honest, their their lineup scares me a little bit. And it's very strong. Well, they just come off the back of a 5-1 drubbing of, of Leeds United. I mean, it, it's going to be a tough test. There's going to be a lot of confidence in this away side here today. But we just we got to believe. I mean, until it's mathematically impossible, there is still a glimmer of hope. Just to let everyone know where we are at. Okay. The, the, the nails in the coffin. Are going to change, mate? We've got the cabbie. Oh, look at that. We're, we're staying up today because of this shirt. This is where the start comeback comes from. The, the luck of the Gabbiadini. I'm loving it. The Gabbiadini shirt is out. Uh, right. Kick off. Coming up. Southampton and Bristol Palace. We're moments away from kick off. Only half team at Samaria Stadium, Southampton nil, Crystal Palace nil, with arguably maybe Southampton having the lion's share of the chances, if you can say that. Do you know what? It's a very familiar story where there's a lot of possession in that first half and no finish. Uh, you know, but it looked pretty good with all that possession. You know, Crystal Palace didn't really scare apart from the offside goal. Yeah. You know, apart from that, I think they've been really held up really well. But Lavi has been a, been a tank in the middle. The, the goal that they scored, I was convinced was an offside and it was uh, a nice relief to see that be, be ruled off our side what do you make of Aribo's performance I mean he's been sort of drifting in and out up front I mean and also sort of been playing as more, more of a midfield role I think he's been really healthy. I think dropping back into that midfield he's been really great I think he's a really strong presence there behind the play off the play especially Suleiman on the other side it's, it's, you know, it's almost like you've got Theo and Charlie on one side and you've got you know Suleiman and Aribo on the other and it's, it's looking alright but I just kind of feel like half time 
maybe Mara. Get, let's get a striker on the pitch. We're playing long ball enough. We've got six for eight worth of long ball down there. Let's get him on there. Yeah, exactly that. It does feel that way where we're sort of doing these looping long balls over the top. Maybe we'll see on your show coming on the second half. But really, like I said, we need to win games, you know. We've got the current situation around where Wolves are currently leading against Brentford. Tottenham are doing us a favour at White Hart Lane currently. And who knows what's going to happen later on for Man City versus Leicester. Uh, but it's all to play for in the second half, but we just got to take the chances. We've got to take this by the scruff of the neck and get three points over the line, because without that, it's looking bleak. Right, second half coming up. Subsh time, it's the Marys, it's currently Southampton nil. Crystal Palace 2. We've had more possession, we've had more shots, we've had more passes, but we've just done nothing with it. Done nothing with it. Another deflating performance. Well, we deserve nothing, quite frankly. Just another display on the football pitch, which is portraying the mismanagement of Southampton FC, which has been quite frankly been criminal. Absolutely criminal. Palace here with a free kick. And they hit the post. I think this team deserve what they got here today. I think this uh, Palace side has come here, deservedly got the three points by the chances that they've made. The only thing that hasn't been deserved is what the fans have got here. Yeah, that's the thing, mate. Like, we deserve everything we've got in like, this team, but they've been so awful all season, predictable. From the board up, the board down, it's just been absolute garbage. And this is it. This is. I said it, it's it. If you didn't believe it before, believe it now. It's over. There has nothing been shown by this team over the last few performances that give us any glimmer of hope in regards to turning this around. I've seen absolutely nothing. And with the results elsewhere going against us, this ain't a pretty picture. Just blow. 
And there it is, the send is Southampton nil, Palace 2. Thanks for sticking with us. We'll see you in the next one. All right, see ya.